What is up, it's your boy Johnny Street, I have the performance to tell like it is. Welcome back to the episode of Train With Me. We're back at the Dragon's Lair again. We're gonna hit some back today. The back home here is absolutely amazing. We're gonna do mostly, predominantly, fitness today because he, he's got so many awesome machines for, you know, isolating, rhomboids, you know, the lats, uh, traps, everything. We're gonna start out with deadlifts. I know you guys are like, hey, did you do a video on deadlifts and how they're not, you know, necessary they're not necessary to build your back here but more so your thickness is going to help for sure right so i just want to have that mentioned it is not imperative that you do it we're putting it in the beginning of almost like a pre-exhaust and that's going to prime us for the rest of the movements because after doing a deadlift you don't really have to do much more in our in terms of like warming your body up it's already primed that way so we're going to start off we're going to go up until we can't do 15 reps the high reps pretty high and that's about it so Sit back and relax and enjoy the video. And he's a, yeah. Anyway, let's get started. No wave, I'm drifting away. Just like before, deadlifts, guys, they're gonna follow the same rules as before. So make sure your feet are like at least touching the bar um, or where your you know, laces are, and you're fine. Get down, we're gonna hinge this spot, grab right next, right? We're gonna pretend like somebody's tickling our armpits, lock in, get over the bar. Press the toes in the ground, start to rotate, and tsh. That was good, 50 reps, we're gonna relax and do it again. Add weight, add weight, add weight. I know plate to plate to plate. Right, just kinda get myself going. But you guys don't have to do plate to plate to plate. You can literally go 45, then put on a 10, and whatever your increment is, to build to your working set, do so, but try to avoid always just doing plates. I do plates because I'm stronger and I know what I can get up to. The higher reps are nuts. Like if you're looking for just strength, five reps. Five by fives, five to seven reps. Volume, more muscle volume, glycogen, 10 to 15 reps, two to three second negative. Right there, there you go. Twelve. Three more. Oh, for real? Yep. Gotta take some joking. May have to come down a little more often, keep you in line. One, boom. That's it. Good brace, good brace. Two, good, good brace, good brace. That's what, there you go, good. Good. So you can tell like, you know, if he's doing like, when I was saying like, you know, uh, deadlifts are not necessary for muscle, you know, for like hypertrophy or whatever, it's not necessary. But it's a good tool to have. If I had to pick one movement I would get rid of for like building muscle, it, it would be that, just because of, there's so many other things you can do to isolate that. But for initial good thickness, I, I believe that it's not necessarily the deadlift in, in, in itself, it's more so the brace and your brace being basically in a static hold the entire time while you move weight up and down. So if you think about it, every time that I hinge, my shoulders are holding itself back from doing this. So from here, this is what's holding myself in, right? So I'm basically doing this the entire time. And that's, that's what I look at it being a good builder, you know what I mean? I did it, Adam, did it. What a great fucking song. Rack it up, rack it up, I got a bit of the bank to make me a safe house. Shake it up, shake it up, she got her hands on her knees and she bringing the cake out. Smoke it up, smoke it up, I got some gas, some packs, I'm up in the greenhouse. Ball it up, ball it up, I'm with the game, we taking shots off the rebound. Fucking my There you go. See that butt? There you go. Good. Straight up, straight up, right here. Hip stuff, good. Come on, tight, that's it. Tight. Pull tight, tight, tight. Tight back, get the back straight, flat back. Nice and tall, good brace, big brace. Yeah, good. I fell in love with it. Okay, so we're on the uh, Arsenal Strength high row. So this is not a vertical pull in terms of like, you know, like a pull down would be. This angle is going from here and then the elbow's traveling backwards. So if this was a vertical pull, we'd be more so like this, 
isolating more of the teres major and minor. So this part here, because we're rolling here and the elbow is going past, it's a high row. You're gonna get some, you know, you're gonna get a good combination of uh, teres major minor, which is good. But you're gonna get a lot more of the entire lat activation than rhomboids and traps and rear delts from the pulling all the way back. So this is a thickness workout. It's a hybrid, but like really good machine for thickness. So again, we go 10 to 15 reps. Um, this is pretty. This is, the machines aren't easy. They make these actually make it a little harder. Like the weight distribution is like more challenging, which I like for plate loaded machines. Again, same principle before. We're gonna lock ourselves in here. Cool thing with this is as the uh, knee part for yourself, keep in here. And then I can tuck my toes or my heels. Sorry, right here for leverage. I fell in love with a bad hoe when it broke my heart, and now I'm haunted by her shadow. She told me, boy. <sighs> So I'm gonna go up next. We're, we're basically doing a lot of machines again. We're gonna keep each set to like two hard sets. We're gonna do a variety of machines. So we're not doing like four sets on um, each machine. Right, so we're already primed with the deadlifts. Here, two sets, two sets, two sets. Right, so. Okay, do your chest right up. Squeeze. Elbows all the way down, all the way down. All the way, all the way, more, more, more. There you go. You want the elbows to come all the way down. Shift down, shift all the way back, back. There you go. Pulls behind. Pull. Good. Keep yourself a little more straight. There you go. Now pull. Pull. Good. 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 Control the weight. Control down. Up slow. Pull. Good. Pull. Good. Push your soul down, don't see no traps, no traps. There you go. Good, no elevation in the shoulders. Just depression, there you go. Three. Two. One more. Good. But you know her heart is all black I fell in love with a bad hoe When it broke my heart and now I'm haunted by her shadow She is <sighs> Ah! Oh, it burns. It burns. It burns good. If I, again, if I overshoot my weight, take my eagle, kick it out of the door, drop it down, finish your reps. See the type of flirt a little bit, then go and fall back. Angel eyes, devil horns, tell me what you call that. You can leave a message. That's how you do a set. If you're gonna spot your partner, how about the concentric so we can complete the negative? Right? So if you can't if you can't hold the negative, you're not gonna be able to get the concentric. It's impossible. So if you ever want to know when you're getting gassed out or whatever, if you can't control it up, you're definitely not bringing it down. Don't got no heart, I got an ice box. Brand new roll swipe by the G shot. So this is a this is a machine I've always wanted to use. I've heard a lot about it. I've heard it's very it's a lot harder than your regular T-bar row. If you look at a T-bar row, the way where the weight is, it's not way out here. Other T-bar machines is closer inside here, a little easier to pull, right? This is a weight's all the way here, so it's gonna make the lever even wider, right? Remember again, like everything like further away from midline, even weight distribution is gonna make it that much harder. So this being so far out is gonna make it harder. This being in closer would have made it easier, right? So I wanna see how this is. Again, I wanna grab a plate, see how it goes. If I pick too low of a weight, I'll just make the rep that much harder or extend the rep, send the set, and then next set, I'll, I'll understand which one I wanna get, how much weight I should use. Oh yeah, this is way heavier. This machine is very challenging, it's humbling. Holy shit. 
I'm usually like three, four plates on this thing on a regular T-bar. I got two plates on this thing and it's hard. This feels like four plates on a regular T-bar machine. This thing is a humble machine. Come in and put like two plates on and go. Oh, there's one in my school. I can do six plates. Lately, I've been living like I can't take a loss. They want to help me. That's what made me a boss. So this machine is dope because we can uh, we can put the weight where we want the weight to be at its hardest, hardest point. So what we're going to do is I'm going to put a weight here. and put another weight here. We're doing unilateral row. Chest support unilateral. Okay, one here and here. That's two plates. It's 90 pounds. And what we'll do is if it if we can't get a range, we're gonna 10 to 50 reps again. As soon as it starts, as soon as we can't get, you know, we're getting to that point where we're gonna fail in the set, we're gonna yank a plate off the top, one plate, just so we can finish the rest of the, uh, um, the set. I'm on the ass now, can't get a pass now, I'm a cash cow, keeping it brash now, niggas is trash now, I'm a spaz out, I've been killing my lows and living on highs, you see in the skies the proof, you could just see in my eyes that there is no lies, I cannot disguise the truth. This machine, you feel it way more with like in the thick part of your back. My traps, my rhomboids, my delts, you can feel them like I'm so, it feels really pumped, top part of my back. And then the finishing range, obviously my last, but like this, like this part here feels like, it, like when I flex it sticks a little bit, which is a good thing. Having said that with like, you know, your muscles cramping and you know, feel like they're sticking. This is what I've actually been using, um, Needle Fast Blue Star Nutraceutical. What I like about this is not a pre-workout, it's an intra-hydration um, supplement, meaning EAAs in it. And then it's gonna have a hydration matrix or like an electrolyte matrix in there. So basically you have taurine, then you have acylcarnitine, you have kinetic Q, then you have the L-carnitine and the coconut oil and Himalayan sea salt. So you're getting like, in the bi prep room, helps like basically like with absorption and whatnot. But what we're getting out of this is like when you're, you know, during your set and you find like you need energy within this set. A lot of times when people train, they're sweating a lot. Like here, I'm sweating, my electrolytes start getting imbalanced, you start cramping. If you want your set to last longer, your whole workout, you need to keep hydrated, but not just replenishing the water, but even the salt as well too. So it's important that you get those micros in you so you can continue to be successful in the gym. It's not always about a pre-workout. You have to like hydrate, and hydration is not just about water, it's about making sure the electrolytes are balanced in your body so you make sure you replenish those. So if you're sweating out salt and you're just drinking water, you're only replacing one part of that, which is just the hydration, the water part. We need to replace the salt as well too. So the combination of this is a really good intra, um, you know, training stabilizer in a sense. And to keep your efforts higher, your hydration that much better, your electrolytes that much more stable for the entire workout. So Amino Fast, he's my coach, Johnny 10. And uh, you're gonna enjoy this. Flavors are absolutely amazing too. So all you guys having trouble uh, connecting your lats when you're rowing, especially bent over rows, chest supported rows. So when he does a set, I'll explain to you how and what we're gonna do to engage the lats even more. How do I shoulder to press while I'm in the position like this? So, good here, what we wanna do is aim that elbow to always push backwards the entire time. So it's always shoot to the back wall. If we're, if we're basically like doing a, a vertical row, you think about the elbows shooting right to the floor. Horizontal rows, or rows from a deficit like this, you want to think about the elbow pushing back to the room the entire time. So it's flowing back when you're pulling up. Let me get this a lot more engaged. Come on. Good. All the way up, come on. All the way up. All the way up, all the way up. Squeeze up. Good. Squeeze, good. Squeeze, good, one more. Squeeze, good. Give yourself a little bit of time before you start your unilateral work. Your heart still needs enough, you know, cool down time or recovery time to be able to do the other 
the other arm, right? So don't just jump right into from one to the next. Give yourself a little bit of like, you know, half the time to let your heart, you know, calm down a bit and then jump right into it. So right here, we're looking at fear and then pushing the elbow back. So that elbow's gonna always push backwards, backwards, backwards on the way up. So it's always going back and up. Good. We're not gonna do a, uh, we're gonna do another row, but we're gonna head over to the, um, the cables. I'm gonna use uh, some of the prime handles. You've probably seen me use those on a lot of my videos I have prime handles. So you'll see me use these in the gym now. And what I'm gonna do with those to really kind of like, really wanna just focus on, again, back thickness. But we're gonna, we're still getting our, we're still getting the terrace major minor, so don't be, don't get it twisted. This is still working, but when we're doing like thicker rows, horizontal rows, bent over rows, it's majority gonna be your more your lat and then like your rhomboids and traps and yeah, yeah all that stuff. So we're doing, um, we're gonna do a, a type of straight arm pull down that's gonna help us still hit that part of our back. And all we do is we're just gonna switch a couple of things up. We're gonna bend a little bit the elbow on the way through. Instead of coming down like this, we're gonna pull in it and then squeeze from here. So the elbows are gonna break and then pull back behind the, uh, behind the um, you know, past your back, right? So we're gonna wait for this guy to figure it out. Come on! I wake up, flex some down next. Okay, so how we're doing this is instead of your regular row where it's usually higher, and just pulling from here straight down. We're gonna go from a little bit lower from a row from here, hinging back, right? And then we're gonna pull down and then bend the elbows and pull back. So we're Elbows back, elbows back, there you go. Uh, pull, elbows, there you go. Stretch all the way out, elbows in, pull. Good, head down, there you go. There you go. Eight, good. Nine, that's it. Come on. 10, push elbows back, come on. Pull elbows, elbows back. Good. We got a long rope, which is dope. Same thing, but we'll have a better track just because my arm here, my wrist won't be kind of doing this stuff at the end. So this gives a little more free motion for here. Basically here, keep your arms open. And we're gonna put the pressure on the back of our hands right here. I'm gonna feel the pressure come from here, straight through to my elbow. So a good cues to know when you're when you're burning out of this movement, your traps start taking over. So if I can't continue to do this and pull down, you're done. If I start doing this, cut the rep, cut the short. Don't don't try and battle past that. You're just trying to pull your shoulders down. That's it. Elbows right back. Pull elbows back. So right bottom here. There you go. So we're getting terrace major minor. Then we're getting traps, mid trap, rhomboids, delts. Lats. Nice. Good. A little more bending the elbows on the way back. There you go. Yeah. There you go. Come on. Pull. Good. Come on. Pull. Come on. Good. All right, guys. That is it for today's back workout. Back fitness. So, you guys, next time you do back, give that workout a try. All the exercise I did, 10 to 15 reps with a three, two to three second negative. Sets around 30 to 45 seconds with a minute to two minute rest in between sets. Two hard sets for each, so give that a try. And if you've tried it out, leave a comment below. I wanna hear how it went for you guys as well. Anyway guys, so hope you enjoyed the video guys. If you did, make sure you guys like, subscribe, and share. You know what come with Italic, it is transparent, vulnerable truth. And for coaching, johnnysheet.com. Guys, wanna know more about my coaching? Book yourself a 15 or 30 minute consult. Ask me anything you want. Nutrition, training, supplementation, mental health, whatever it is, anything you wanna ask, take the 30 minutes after that consult if you wanna go with coaching, I deduct off any package that you pick. Guys,
Follow the description below, guys. Follow those discount codes and promo codes that will save your life or change your life for the better. And guys, add me on TikTok and Instagram. Send me your progress picks, your training picks, and your video clips. Now I'll repost them for you guys because you know how it is. Iron Sharp is Iron. Progressive overload your life. In the meantime, keep dream chasing. Peace. No love.